perfect line goes 033. Now Ali is right there with him at 032. This one's going to be on performance. They give it to L.E. Tonglin. His third win of the year. White Alligator Racing's fourth race. All of them tuned by Tim Kalanchian. 6.824 seconds. Ellie had low D682 three earlier. What a weekend. Almost wired to wire as Ellie came out of the number two spot. But he got his 13th race win of his career and extended his pro stock motorcycle points lead. I can't believe it. You know, that just shows you the team that Jerry Savoy and uh, Tim put together. I can't thank them enough for giving us this bike. It's been flying and Tim's been tuning his butt off. And can't thank Kenny Koreski enough for, uh, for providing us the, the funding to go forward. And he's at home recovering from the surgery a couple of weeks ago. He got in car wreck. This one's for him sitting down on the couch watching. Like Suzuki said, he's actually everybody back home. I can't thank him enough. Woo! Another perfect life. Cole Butner trips at zero. Greg's gonna eat a little crow, a whole shot win for Bo Butner. Actually, Greg had the better motor, but Bo let the clutch out, let the clutch out first, and that's felt the difference. Look at the wry, wry smile on the face of Jason. Dude, it's hard to beat, my gosh. But uh, thanks to everybody at home, Jim Butner Auto, Baby Guys, Chevrolet, my kids at home, maybe come to a race and come hang out with them. So, thank you very much. Congratulations. Oh. For Supercar, they need to take a different approach to try to improve. Up in smoke for Robert Hyde. Who saw this coming as Beckman with another 4-0 and up oh in flames? Still gets the win. Jack, who can climb out but celebrate the 26th win of his career, and that breaks his time for ninth in class history with Matt Hagen. I hope that doesn't come out of my paycheck, John. It's a, it's a time slip. It's not a, you can afford it, but it's a winning time slip. And you know, sometimes it's not the people that are spectacular in the battle, it's who's standing at the end of the day. And we wore them out again today. I'm gonna have to admit, we're on a little bit of a luck streak, but we will take it. We're gonna sort things out. We're gonna test a different car tomorrow. I'm hoping that was the last run on that chassis and go home in my backyard as a show car. For Terry Chandler, for Infinite Hero, for our soldiers, for Pennzoil, for Mopar, Everybody that's on the side of this car and helping out Don Schumacher Racing and Don. Thank you guys. Love you guys. Like to do it again soon. Steve Torrance by 49 10 thousandths. A narrow whole shot win. 374 3 beats the quicker but losing 373 6 of Doug. That margin decided by who let the clutch out first, which car moved first, in this case, it was Steve Forrest, who's got his fourth win of the season, that's a career high. Thank you, man, I tell you what, these Capco boys, they got me a race car all weekend. Well, it's been an unbelievable year. The good Lord just continues to look after us and bless us, and that's all I can say, all the glory goes to him, because the amount of success that we've had, only he can control, so. This goes off to the Capco boys, everybody at Redline Oil that supports the Mac Tools. Heck, we had a Mac Tools car in the final, we just got it done. But you know what? We're leaving here with the points lead, and we're going to extend that a little more. Congrats, man.
Hey guys, welcome to my video vlog. It's Monday, and uh, I might be doing it during a thunderstorm because I just seen it was dark outside and I checked the radar and yeah. <laughs> so if you hear any, any thunder, that's what it is out there. So why not do this for the first time out in a thunderstorm? I mean, well, it's during a thunderstorm. Why not? <laughs> so let's bring it to it. Um, NASCAR, will you just, will we, will we all see, seen this weekend? Harvard gets his first road course win. And, um, and plus Junior, he was trying to cap it off at his last trip at Sonoma, but he got a top 10 finish, but he was up there in the top five until that little uh, uh, handling issue in the turn 11. So, and Danica Kopatrick was on the wrong end of that too. So, but, well and all, for good for Kevin Harvick, um, Martin Truex seemed me had the race too, and uh, he had problems, and uh, AJ was up there, uh, he was one of the favorites, and uh, and uh, he just couldn't get out of the back of the pack, so, so there you have it. So yeah, so on next week is to Daytona. Let's see if Junior can cap it off there. And, I, and I'm assuming it's probably his last Daytona trip. He's been uh, talking of uh, coming back to uh, to race the 500 for part time. So I don't know what's going to happen or not. So we'll see. And the HRA you just all saw there. I just heard some. <laughs> um, uh, At the summit to racing racing equipment nationals, um, we had a. I mean, a, let's see. What's what's the train of thought here? Hold on. Okay. Well, you all saw the video though. So, so of who won? So next, so in a couple weeks, they'll be uh, heading to um. Uh, oh um, let me check. Forgot. Because the because the western swing is right after that. Yeah, it's here. I just heard some thunder. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because yesterday here, Pelton, we had over 100 degree weather. And now we're getting a thunderstorm after the right after it. <laughs> At least it comes with rain, so I'll, so I'm not complaining. All right. Okay, Route 66. That's right. Yeah. So uh, in two weeks, they're heading to Route 66 Raceway near Chicago. So so there you have it. Yeah, it's the Fallen Patriots Route 66, so which is good. I mean, they're a s supporting a uh, military fund there. I mean, air relief fund. What it sounds like, or just a, you know, well, a charity or whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's a. I mean, it's a good cause for to sponsor a race. So, so you have it on that. And um, oh, and WWE. Well. Great balls of fire is this Sunday, so some matches are yet to be be made still. So more well, more matches, so to say. And then, uh, boy, what all broke our hearts last week on Raw? Big Cass turned on Enzo, and and which with Big Cass's uh, statement, it's quite true. I mean, Enzo had the big mouth, but he had Big Cass to back him up, which I kind of saw him in that way, but. Uh, yeah, he just kind of made Enzo look like a jobber, so to say. That's what it just it sounded like. He just ran him down. So, but it's wrestling. It's planned and all, you know. But uh, so I, so I take it he's gonna first. I mean, Enzo's gonna face Big Cats. Cats had grip balls of fire, so that's how it's gonna be. So, I'm thinking Big Cats will, will, will probably get a singles push. Who knows? So, and plus with Joe and Lesnar. Lesnar's going to be on there t t tonight, so we'll see what happens there. And uh, I heard there will be a returning, well, legend, so to say, at, uh, I think, t t on Raw tonight. I'm not sure, but I think it is on t tonight. I know next week, and oh gosh, I don't know why he showed his face in the wrestling business. LeVar Ball. God. <laughs> that guy has a big mouth. I just, I don't know why he's showing up wrestling bad. Hopefully it's just a bad rumor. I hope so. And in NXT, well, they're going to have a, a a last woman standing match for the NXT um, a women's championship between Asuka and uh, Nikki Cross. So that's going to be to be quite that's quite the match there. I mean, I'm not going to. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be a bad match, but it might be a pretty good match for the title. 
on NXT. So, and plus, in two weeks, they're going to have a Bobby Roode face a, well, actually, reverse that, a Retro Strong will face Bobby Roode for the uh, NXT Championship. So, that one might be a little bit of a toss up there. We'll see who wins that one. So, but I'm pretty much 80% on Bobby Roode to win that. So, you never know. And then, um, what else going on? Um, have everything in the NFL. It's been quiet. Uh, NBA, the draft. Uh, Portland picked up some pretty good players, so I'm happy with that. I, I heard the that four ducks went on. Um, then, uh, as far as yeah, oh, and Alonzo Ball, he is going to the Lakers, which are, which which is something because the Lakers weren't impressed with him, and then he went to the Lakers. So probably Le, Lebar got into their ears more. So. And they keep saying that he'll be the answer. I don't think so. Ball is will be a rookie. He's a he was a freshman last year. I don't think he will. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, just it's 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 his dad. I mean, his dad's got a big fat mouth and just doesn't know when to shut up. That's the thing. So, and. Uh, and uh, I don't think he'll be the saving grace for the Lakers, which some people say that he is. He will not be. I hope he flops this year, really, because he'll be all hyped up and uh, he'll be this, uh, get the Lakers in the playoffs and, and, and you know, they might win the championship or something. That's all talk from his dad. I don't think it's going to happen. I hope Ball flops. I'm giving it out right now. I hope he flops. Just saying. I mean, he will develop... Um, from time to time to to be a good player, but not this year. He'll be a rookie. He's just learning the the uh, physics, the um, whole uh, the the whole mentality of, of pro basketball, which is way different than college basketball. Way different. So, and plus, um, actually, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> hey, just that come back. Um, but uh. But yeah, I just hope the Lakers flop. So I, and plus I hope that the Portland beats them pretty good too. So, <laughs> oh, and uh, here's what I was gonna say. I, I seen that Duke's coach. I uh, forgot. I can't pronounce his last name right. But uh, anyway, he came with the great uh, wave where the NBA should change its rules in the draft, where they should back to the old system. If kids want to come out of high school and play pro, pro basketball, then let that happen. But they have to complete, they, they, uh, they have to do this in football as well, they have to complete a, a two years in college to to uh, to get a spot in the NBA. I mean, well, to enter in the draft. That's the way it should be, like in uh, football. Because they have to wait two years until they go to the draft. That's what should be in all college sports. And if they want to get drafted to a pro team. Because this right now, one year in college, and you go to the pros, just will not cut it. It won't. You need experience, more experience in college before you go to the pros. And the pros can tell you that. <laughs> because some have done it and got a lot of success. So, so yeah. And MLB, let's see here. I heard the Yankees are, are quite on a losing streak. <laughs> Love it. There are some little booms around here, so I think the thunder's close. Okay, so the Yankees are still in first, but not by much, over Boston. So, but just by one, by one, PCT. <laughs> yeah, they're up. Yeah, they lost two two games, even though it was bigger not too long ago until they snapped it, so. And then it's uh, Minnesota in the Central, then it's Houston in the West, and Seattle still in fourth, even though they, they're on a winning streak, too. And in the National League East, it was Washington. I mean, is Washington, Central, Milwaukee, and West is the Dodgers. So which team is doing hot, and, and which team is not. Wow, the Dodgers, 10 in a row. Woo! 
That's pretty and dang impressive, man. Let's see which teams do not here. Okay, we've got two teams that have lost five in a row, and plus that they're in the same conference as well. The uh, Rockies and the Giants. So the Rockies had to leave there for a while, but then the last probably lost five in a row, then it just, there was no more, so. So you have it for this week, standings of the MLB. Boy, I hope the Yankees, the Yankees, <laughs> I hope the uh, Yankees keep flopping. <laughs> so. Anyhow, I haven't heard anything on. Actually, I will check the the Ducks schedule on 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 college basketball. So, I mean college football, not basketball. College football. Okay. And right here. Let's wait for a load. Okay, there we go. Nope. As far as nope, no change. So, it's the same like I told you last time. So, but hey, it does hurt to check. So, never know. And plus the College World Series, um, it's going to be an SEC battle, which I hate that. <laughs> but just the way it worked out. Uh, Oregon State had a chance to beat uh, LSU, but it did happen in the last two games. So they ended it for Beavers. So it be LSU versus Florida in the College World Series Finals. May the best team win. Which I don't care because I don't like the SEC. <laughs> so we we'll watch it. I will not be watching it. So that's it, guys. Got nothing else to mention. Oh, sorry. Ending too early. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, here's my VGM choice of the week. That there is from Crash Bandicoot and Insane Tranquility. It'll be coming this Friday, but I found some music. Spoiler two I like so far, and, and that's the, the uh, Warp Room theme and the uh, Rocket and and uh, Pack Attack, which the Pack Attack is just a sample, so to say, which I like it. I like the re remix of it. So, so anywho, I have seen on, on YouTube for, for a Spoilers, there had been some that got their game early, so yeah, so I'm, so I'll be waiting until this, this Friday to, to get it, but I don't care, it's okay. So if you guys want to go check out the game, it's on YouTube right now, it's going through playthroughs and all that stuff, and, because I seen it last night, so, so why not? I mean, if you can't get the game, why not watch it? <laughs> so, but I don't know why, 
I mean, your Crash Bandicoot fan, get the dang game! <laughs> and, uh, no subscribe of the week. Um, I don't know. I can't bring anything else up what you did not know about me. But, um, and also, I forgot to point out this little license plate right here from, from 2004, Del Hart Jr., K2500. I got that a long time ago, and I was looking through my stuff, and I found that. Never hanged it up. It was like a hen gem. <laughs> like, I didn't know I even had this. But I'm glad I do, and I'm, and I'm glad I found it. Because that is something to hang on to for a long time. So, in case you, you, you didn't see it last week, but yeah. While I was cleaning my stuff out, that's what I found. So, you never know what you can find when you clean your old stuff out. <laughs> So, anywho, um, comments here? Okay. I'm starting off on a one that I del deleted. M I F D Z A L space A Z R I E L commented on my W 2K17 PS3. This video, very wasting time. Well, why'd you watch it? Answer that yourself. Okay, and Tyson Prohl Strump commented on my latest NASCAR Rumble Championship video. Next driver, you'll be Richard Petty, a.k.a. The King. Dang it! How did he fi figure that out? <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, it will be on my next one. Spoiler alert. <laughs> then Vitaminian and NHA9 commented on, on the same video. Three... 1308, major error for for Bobby and Scott. Yeah. I didn't uh, catch that, but yeah, that's what he pointed out to me there on that. Then, same guy, same video. Good good showdown be between the 28 and, and the 43 and the 43 drivers out there. Good job, brother. No problem. It's no problem. And then, with W2K17, PS3, UN, Tacos, Saying CO O commented. Okay, it's foreign. Sorry. Okay. Then, uh, J Julo Mer Merlo commented on my same video. Is is the Nijax the only female DLC? All the other women are, are automatically in the game, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, she is the only DLC. Any more thunder? I just heard. <laughs> it's it's here. It's here. Then a Tim Lewis commented on on, on my W on um, not WE on PCW Prestige Championship Wrestling Two proving proving grounds where I was at. We'll talk about that to a minute here. This was an awesome show to go to. No question about it. It was. I can't wait to go back. So. That's it for comments. Yeah, not that much, but yeah. <laughs> so anywho, um, let's get in, into that PCW two proving grounds. It it was a great show. I mean, if, I mean, got good seats. I mean, I was a little bit closer this time. Me, me and my brother were were closer to the action, and uh, apparently that some. If you watch it on video here, which is on here, that uh, a, a, a couple of them came close to us, <laughs> so fighting. So, so anywho, um, but yeah, I just, I mean, they're going still. I mean, their their third show is going to be on on September 29th, and the and the former WWE stars will be uh, uh, showing up. Will be Gangrel and Billy Gunn. Even though subjects are, are to change because Carlito was going to be at, at this one I was at, and things changed, so, yeah. So I can't wait for, for that, even though the the, the the card will be announced tomorrow, even though it uh, things change in the card, but yeah, that's what's going to be. I mean, the uh, matches are, are going to be just a, a card as of now, that is. I mean, it's I mean it's not official, but yeah. So I'll, I'll read that off next week of who will be in this, at that show on September 29th, after Roundup. Whoop you do. <laughs> uh, I'm not a fan of Roundup. Sorry. And plus, here's the signs I brought, too.
this one's King Cash. Read, read, read what it says there. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, and the back is the Valvinus, the, the big V, known as the big Val Valvolsky. That's what it's going for. And the next one here. Well, I well I didn't really uh, th threw this up much, but I will probably will at the next one. Two, you know the uh, near pinfalls. <laughs> haven't sh showed that yet. There at the event, and I haven't showed this one e either. But I, but I'm, but I'm going to in the next one. Yeah, so I'm trying to get people open to DDP yoga, which I'll do that at the next event. Wow, <laughs> that's a big boom right there. <laughs> and advertisement. <laughs> I just didn't mention it, didn't I? <laughs> I decided to make a sign on it. And uh, and uh, this one I didn't hang up either. I didn't show this one, but yeah. PC dub. PC dub. PC dub. <laughs> oh, and yeah. Filthy Tom Lawyer. When uh, he was a heel. But but he uh, turned out to, to, to be a face in this event. And also on the back. Yeah, that was one person I uh, th 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 threw that up to, so... <laughs> And ten. <laughs> I do this on the countouts in the uh, and um, while while they're on the mat. I mean, two are on the mat to to get back up from the count of ten. Oh yeah, this one was chanting more. Do you remember three count? <laughs> FCW and also Sonico. Which I will probably use that one too at the next event. Might make a new one. Oh yeah, this was the first match. Yeah, because this title is is in Pennsylvania, so yeah, that's why I I wrote this. And on the back. Which he did. On my first show, that is. And the last one. TNA reference there. Which, uh, Davey Richards pointed at me for this, too. Which I'm happy. Because I got noticed. <laughs> yeah, he uh, didn't notice the sign. And plus, this is his TNA nickname. So, yeah. And on the back of this... Which I would probably came up with something better, but yeah. Which I will probably have the next one for Lush, so Kenny Lush, Lewis Cannon, so. So that's all the signs I brought there at that event. Some of them I, I didn't show, but I probably will have the next one, so there you have it. That's the signs I brought because, like I said, I was going to be the sign guy at that event. I wasn't lying. <laughs> so. so that's pretty much it. Uh, videos coming next uh, more NASCAR Rumble Championship. Uh, I've, I've taken a break from my college football, been playing more college basketball lately. I don't know why, but it's just me. And um, and also, uh, um, my WWE Xbox games, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that to, in a plus with my career mode. A lot of videos still. Lightning Challenge on NASCAR 2003 and my other NASCAR games, so it's going to be time consuming, but yeah. So, menu, I, I, I had a great time with my cousin and his family while they were here. You, you actually seen the video when uh, me and him uh, faced each other in NASCAR 98, which I, which I won. By the way, I'm five and two right now, so it means I own him. And plus, in the Super Bowl, if you have not seen that either, it's on there. On my brother's account on Reinhardt 
3851. Um, I faced him at Tickle Super Bowl, and uh, I lost in two close games, which one wasn't recorded because I did the first one, but it wasn't recorded. I lost a close one in that, and then the second one, second time we faced each other, he won. So, so we're so we're two and one. Even the the, the first time I faced him is is uh, when uh, I was at his place a long time ago, and I beat him 31 to 20. But but these games he beat me, so he so he, so he got his revenge on me, so to say, which big deal. I own him in NASCAR. That's all that matters. <laughs> So, and in which my cousin is, his account is Jeremy Zigo, so if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. So I post my post account as well. Support, support, support. Need it. So, so that's pretty much it, guys. Got nothing else much to say. So it's going to be a quiet summer's here in Pendleton, so it's going to be fun, so to say. <laughs> uh, for plus, 4th of July is coming up, so I hope you guys have a safe 4th of July. Don't do anything. Um, dumb, so to say, like, as far as, like, you know, be smart with your fireworks. That's what I'm getting at. Just be smart with them. Don't, don't do it on a dry field. Don't handle them. Don't do it. Just, con just don't think. I mean, think, okay? Just think. Think for yourself. Think for safety. Think for all that stuff, okay? Protect yourself. It's for July. Have some fun. Just, per just be safe. So that's it. So from the guy who has a big YouTube account here in Pelton, Oregon, I'm going out. Take care, guys.